This little guy came visiting last night. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers around the world, straight out of Narawahia via Titahi Bay, here's Mario. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's your day been? Hi, 3.5. My day's been, well, enjoyable, snotty, and varied, quite varied. So, at four o'clock, or just before four o'clock this morning, I heard a little knock on my roof. Yes, we had some visitors. I went out to check, and I found this little fellow had ensconced himself in the outdoor conservatory and uh, locked the door behind him and was unable to get out. At first glance, I thought he was quite a large chap and looked like he was going to do a fair bit of damage to the uh, room. So I made the uh, decision that I would take him to a, a country retreat far away in an attempt to execute him. But before I could do the deed, he had escaped. And so it turned out to be a very short visit. I then went back to bed for a short sleep before I had to get up and go and do some work. So... Yes, didn't get too much sleep last night. My mind was on quite a lot of other things. I only had one class today, and uh, that was uh, a two-hour maths class, but I needed to do some prep for that. So I got prepped for that in the morning and went in and met with a couple of students. Um, there's a traversing assignment due soon, and so they're all quite anxious to talk to me about aspects of the traversing assignment that I said that they would need to talk to me about. Funny that. So I had quite a few conversations about the traversing assignment and then went on to the maths class. I On the way home, I, I ran out of um, petrol for the lawnmower. <laughs> so, <laughs> that sort of curtails the old mowing a little bit. So I filled up the car and the petrol and came home and then did a few little bits and pieces in the garage. I tidied up some of the tools from, uh, put them away. I mixed up um, in the two mixing bottles that I bought, I mixed up some uh, 50 to 1 mix and 25 to 1 mix. I thought I'd try and label each of the bottles um, with the piece of equipment that they're related to. However, petrol was a fairly uh, good solvent, and uh, particularly of Sharpie, so that um, didn't turn out quite so well. Um, both bottles are equally got black smudges on them where the Sharpie was, so um, we'll need to uh, work on that. I'm thinking a little tag of something, or perhaps an aluminium tag, or, or perhaps one of those keychain things, because the the petrol is obviously a solvent for anything that I would write on them. So I certainly learned something there. So, yeah, this little visitor here, quite a cute little fellow. Um, yeah, so four o'clock in the morning he left, um, which was quite an early departure and un unexpected. Meanwhile, at the diary, 4,711 steps. Not too bad considering the day that it was. I have been noticing that the days have been getting shorter as I thought, but they seem to be it seems to be getting a darker a lot earlier than uh, what it has done in my memory previously. So I thought I'd look it up. So uh, currently it's uh, sunset is at 5:14, possibly a little earlier in Narawahia because we're up against some uh, the Hakramata Ranges that run uh, north north south and we're on the eastern side. The sun sets on the west behind the ranges, so we lose the sun perhaps earlier than had we been in a, a flat or coastal uh, situation. 
So currently uh, the sunset is at 5.14. Um, the good news is that it doesn't get, it gets earlier, but only by seven minutes, or no, eight minutes. And on the 21st of June, the sunset will be at 5.06 p.m., and then it'll start to go up, and it'll be back at 5.14 again on the 9th of July, quite a way away. So, yes, we're going through certainly the shorter days, and uh, I've got classes that finish at 5, so it's no wonder it's difficult to get home and get a little bit of work in after work. So, fortunately, the grass doesn't grow quite as quickly. All right, so today we've got a, uh, a question. Where, what, who is a hint one for the thing there. A little bit of teaching. I did the maths quiz this morning. Um, still got to do a video for that and a couple of other things. The marking. Yes, yeah, so much for the five a day. I managed to do it Wednesday and Thursday last week, but not Saturday and Sunday. And, well... It's now approaching 10.20, so yeah, hopefully I may get some done tonight, which will be of some interest, and I may be able to get a little bit more done tomorrow and almost get finished. So we'll see, but another little job came up in the meantime, which has put all sorts of things into the mix. So next weekend is looking like uh, quite a busy time for for WinTech work, but never mind, we will uh, see what develops on that front, and hopefully, well, we'll sort it out. The nature pill uh, doesn't seem to be, have caught on too much, I didn't, didn't take a nature pill today, and uh, possibly need to, uh, should have, I guess. I'm into the neurologist tomorrow, meeting with the neuro neurologist to assess my condition. My expectation is that it will, will just continue business as usual, but well, I've learnt that things are quite unpredictable in that way, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, all very good. So let's have a look at today's challenge, and here it is. Oh, almost looks like my visitor. Which country are Lemurs native to? native to. Is it Madagascar, Vietnam, Cambodia or China? Well, if you know the answer, put it in the comments below the video. Funny looking little chap, isn't he? Looks a little bit like my visitor, but not exactly. So, yesterday's question, what happened? Which is the most flexible muscle in the human body? Yes, it's the tongue. And Tartan Snowflake certainly got that one, although was uh, somewhat sceptical that it was a muscle, but yes, it is. It's uh, the most flexible muscle in the human body, apparently. <laughs> I can see why you might say that about it. It's certainly, yes, very flexible, the tongue. It can do lots of different things. So there you are. A pretty steady day, a bit congested, enjoyed it, quite a bit of variation, and well, we'll look forward to whatever tomorrow brings. So, thanks everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing, and well, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. All good. Cheers. See you. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation, recorded live in our studio in Narawahia, the capital of the Waikato district, a district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, that little country at the bottom of the globe, the place where Kiwis live. Give them a taste of Kiwi. Show them you're made of steel. Give them a taste of Kiwi. Show them the way you feel. Give them a taste. Give them a taste of kiwi.